keep good fun. But I never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show. Isa. It's a schoolboy football, the Costa Cup quarterfinal. The finals before Cornwall winning on both those occasions. So you just wonder how that will shape up for them as we look at their at opponents. So Garvey Maciel, their coach, of course, by Merrin Gordon. He's away on national duty, but here's a quick look at the lineup. Krishmar Maxwell, Devani McIntosh, Tyreek McKenley, Orlando Lee Blake, Malik Robinson, Wilton Williams, Christopher Mundell, Kenroy Williams, Delano Thompson, Cleo Clark, and Anthony Sinclair. They'll be playing with a 4-3-3 formation. No doubt who is their main man, Cleo Clark. Over 50 goals in his schoolboy career. Look out for him. They're number 10 and captain. Cornwall College, their goalkeeper is Carlisle Tingley. Brian Bowen, Dane Buckley, Matthew Wilson, Deshaun Evans, Travis Gordon, Deshaun Talbert, Tenoy Dunkley, Rakeem Grizzle, Rakeem Lee and Lincoln Cox. They're coached by Dr. Dean Weatherly. 3-5-2 is what Cornwall will play. Very resilient team, as you said, 12 titles to their name. No team in the Costa Cup has won more. And that will say something when these kind of do or die matches because they do have the pedigree. Half Here's a full-time hi highlights. Jelani Williams got the ball at the half line and was able to evade quite a few defenders on that occasion. Then again, then again, and a cool finish beyond the goalkeeper tingling. 1-0 for Garvey Maceo. He really did well on that individual effort, you could say. Cool finish in the end. Beaten at the near post was Carlisle Tingling. Goal number 11 on the season. That free kick went wide. Clear Clark, the kick on that occasion. He would turn beautifully here. And his shot was wide of the mark as well. What a sharp turn it was from the number 10. Cornwall College, they would also have some attacking forays. Goalkeeper spilling that one. It came to Rakeem Grizzle and he flashed it just across the, the face of goal. Had it been on target, I tell you, goalkeeper would have been out of position. But in the second half, beautiful builder play. Donaldson getting by his marker, playing it to Everell Swaby. His shot was beautifully powered away, but the follow up from Clear Clark was clinical, incisive. And just enough on the afternoon, 2 0 for Garva Maceo. His 20th goal, that one, Clear Clark. Ensuring that the six point, the three points they need to go to six points was on the cards for them. They would continue. That ball pushed forward. Williams, the goal scorer, unable to get the clinical touch they need. Cornwall College, they had their own attempts this first time effort from Buckley going over the bar another look at it that one from Buckley as well he really came alive in the second half and they would continue and that shot put in all sorts of problems for goalkeeper Tingling had to force it wide Cornwall College again would try to bring problem the substitute came on the Kane Brown he brought that one over the top and they had this opportunity Matthew Wilson firm hand by Krishmar Maxwell keeping him at bay and that was that for this quarterfinal group B matchup Here are the stats at full time. Government say, of course, winning 2 0. They had five shots on target from 15 attempts, six shots on target from 18 attempts by Cornwall College. 15 fouls, one yellow card going to Government say, They had two offsides, five corners for them, eight for Cornwall College. Goalkeeper Maxwell had to make six saves, three made by Carlyle Tingling. Cornwall College, in the end, having more of a possession, 55% but still coming out losers at the end of it.
Gabe Messia through to the semi-final and the Champions Cup. Jene is standing by with the water man of the match. Thank, thank you, Dean. I'm here with the water man of the match, no other than Orlando Blake. Congratulations. Orlando, you told me that your nickname is Crunchy. Tell me, why do they call you Crunchy? Well, the reason why they call me Crunchy is because I'm from Portland. Tell me from, you're from where? Portland. Okay, well, you did put in a good shift today, especially in the second half. After the two goals were scored, was it a case that you just never wanted to concede any goals? Yeah, it was that. We don't want, wasn't want to concede any goals. Well, you do face Clarendon College in the semi-finals. Exciting news. Are you ready? Yes, I'm pretty much confident in that one. And tell me, what is the vibe in the Gravy Masaya camp when he came off the field? Well, it was a pretty much good vibes. We you... got this. Sorry, not smiling. <laughs> well, congratulations. Um, welcome. And now we welcome the coach of Cornwall College, Dr. Dean Weatherly. <laughs> Connor College did put in a good fight today, but and that team could fall, but they never will know until the whistle blows around. Come enjoy the show, Isa. It's a schoolboy football, the Costa Cup quarterfinal.